What's going on guys, it's Kevin here with Mod My Mods and a quick how-to video. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna take this Alpha Cooled M.2, the little heatsink thing, and we're going to marry it with this lovely uh, Samsung. It's the 960 Evo, it's the M.2 one, NVMe SSD thing. Uh, so what we're gonna do is take this out of the box, take this out of the box, put them together, and hopefully create some magic. After you've taken everything out of the box, uh, the first step is to identify which thermal pad that you're going to need. Uh, for this in particular case, we're going to use the 0.5 millimeter thermal pad. When you're applying the thermal pad to the chip, I usually remove one side of the protective film, put it onto the SSD, and then remove the other side of the film, and then place the heatsink plate on the top half of the chip. What I ended up doing and then is kind of sandwiching the chip and the heatsink together to flip it over. Looking at the directions, uh, identify which thermal pad you need. Because this particular SSD that we're using does not have any chips on the back, we're using the one millimeter thick thermal pad. So take the protective plastic piece off of both sides. Once you have your sandwich all put together, you'll see that it stacks nicely together with the heatsink, the thermal pad, your SSD, the thermal pad, and the heatsink again. And then all you'll do is use these clips and push down on the top of them to pinch it close. The clips can be tricky to get onto the chip with the heatsink and the thermal pads all squished together. Sometimes it feels like you'll be breaking it or forcing it too hard, but they do eventually snap on. Just understand that once the clips are on, they're not intended to be removed. And because other clips are on, they may flex a little bit and slide around. 